In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the TCDF function to find the p-value when you're doing a hypothesis test that uses the t-distribution. And specifically, this video will focus on uh, the example from a hypothesis test on a quantitative variable for two independent groups, or the unpooled t-test, uh, which we took a look at earlier. So let me just go to that so we can see the example first, and then we can, we can come to the calculator and uh, see how to do that, okay? So in this example right here, h sub a is mu is less mu one is less than mu two, um, and we went through we calculated the test statistic by hand, which is negative point four nine four, and we have to determine if this is a lower bound or the upper bound for this TCDF function. Remember the three inputs are the uh, lower bound, the upper bound, and the degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom, um, we're going to use the value of six. We're using the more conservative method, so that's going to go there the uh, negative 0.494 this happens to be the upper bound because our test statistic ends up over on the left of zero and we want to find the area from that test statistic to the left of it because h sub a has the arrow pointing to the left okay so we're going to use negative 1 million as our lower bound um, and hopefully that gives us the information of what we're going to input in there in order to get to the tcdf function what we're going to do is we're going to go to second and then the vars button above it you see distr for distribution and this will pu pull up all the probability distributions and we are going to go down to the TCDF function which is option number six and select that if you have a newer calculator it's going to give you a dialog box or a menu to type in the entries in um, the first value that we're going to type in is negative 1 million uh, negative 1 e to the 99th uh, that's a really really small negative number so that's that's fine there or you can type in negative 1 million if you want just remember we want to use the negative sign down here and then we're going to ne use negative uh, 0 0.494 for our upper bound and then the degrees of freedom that we're going to use are six those are what I just showed you on there and then we'll go down we'll select paste those of you with an older calculator like a TI 83 it'll probably say TCDF left parenthesis and we just have to type in the values separated by a comma and you would type in the lower bound the upper bound and the degrees of freedom just as you see them right there the comma button by the way is the button directly above the seven just in case you didn't know and we're going to go ahead and hit enter now and this is going to return the p-value which is 0.3194 so this is how you use the ti-84 calculator to calculate the p-value when you're dealing with a uh, hypothesis test that's using the t-distribution.